Hello, class. Hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Hello. Hello. Okay, good. I'm sorry for the delay, guys. Um, I didn't have any electricity. My phone had had um turned off, and I couldn't. I couldn't connect. I couldn't um, let anybody know that I I couldn't. I was not able to have um, connection. So I just got electricity. So thank you so much for waiting. I appreciate it. Um. Okay. How was your day today? Pretty good. Very good. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so what we'll do, um, okay, so we're going to quickly um, take the attendance. Okay. All right, so we'll start uh, with Alicia Beatriz Garcia. Alicia Beatriz Garcia? No? Belen, Luis, alcánzame un vaso. Okay. Um, Fatima Roxana Rivera? Fatima Roxana Rivera? Um, okay. Jose Ram, uh, Ramon Polanco. I'm here, teacher. Hmm? I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Great. Uh, Kevin Arnold, Arnoldo Serna. Present. Okay, good. Thank you. Maximiliano Edgardo. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Roberto Antonio. Roberto Antonio. Um, Edwin Antonio. Edwin Antonio Torres. So, um, Edwin Antonio Torres is not here. Okay. Um, Ernesto Antonio Espinosa. Ernesto Antonio Espinosa. Eh, José Alberto Orantes. José Alberto Orantes. Juan Carlos Morán. Juan Carlos Morán. Juan Carlos Padilla. Present. Ok, wonderful. Catherine Yvonne Palacios. Catherine Yvonne Palacios. Roberto Barvin Lemos. Robert, Roberto Barvin Lemos. Present. Wonderful, thank you. And Adriana Marcela Velázquez. Adriana Marcela Velázquez. Brian Henry Rivas. Brian Henry Rivas. Carlos Enriquez Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. 
Dani Elias Manzano. Dani Elias Manzano. Daniel Alfredo Hernández. Daniel Alfredo Hernández. Héctor Arnoldo Sigüenza. Héctor Arnoldo Sigüenza. Héctor Manuel Ramos. Héctor Manuel Ramos. Jacqueline Vanessa Fuentes. Jacqueline Vanessa Fuentes. José Alexander Ra Araujo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Josué David Cardona. Josué David Cardona. Kelvin Iván Martínez. Kelvin Iván Martínez. Marlon Alberto Peñate. Marlon Alberto Peñate. Marlon Omar Menjivar. Marlon Omar Menjivar. Marvin Arnoldo Caballero. Marvin. Present. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, Oscar Alexander Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Oscar Armando Flores. Oscar Armando Flores. Oscar Mauricio Oriana. Present. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And eh, Rocio Jasmine Tejada. Rocio Jasmine Tejada. Walter Antonio Mejía. Walter Antonio Mejía. Erika Jamiler Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your patience. So what we're going to do right now is start right away. Um, can you tell me if you can see my screen? Yes. Yes. OK. Yes, did you? OK, very good. So the question is, um, what did you do last summer? Did you, for example, did you go um, anywhere interesting last summer? So think about last summer. We're, you, you understand last summer, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So think about what did you do last summer? Did you go anywhere interesting? Did you buy anything interesting? Did you eat any interesting food? Did you meet any interesting people? Did you exercise or play any sports? Did you work? Did you play any games? Did you read any books? Did you see any movies? Did you take any pictures? Did you wear different clothes? And did you have fun? So these questions, I want you to, we're gonna be working with a partner and you're gonna be asking your partner these questions. Did you da, 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 last summer? So did you go anywhere interesting last summer? And your partner's gonna say if they did or they didn't. So if they did, they're gonna say, yes, I did. I um, went to Cancun, Mexico. And I stayed in a hotel for three days. Um, and I tried, uh, I ate a lot of tacos 
and I swam in the ocean every day. Example. So do you see? You're going to be um, asking questions about the past. So you have to answer in the past. So yesterday, we were learning a little bit about using the simple past right so now we're going to put it into the into practice uh we're going to be using the simple past uh both regular and irregular okay so you can use the um the tables that i showed you last time this, or that I, I shared with you okay do we understand what to do yes yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm going to share. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to share this with you, um, in the WhatsApp group. And um, I'm going to get you to work with a partner. I'm going to try to make it uh pairs, but of pro um of course there's probably going to be a, some people that are going to be um yeah you're gonna you're probably gonna have to uh work probably one or two groups of three so just give me a moment while i share with you you see that yes okay good all right, Carlos Enrique, are you going to be participating? Me gustan tus lentes. Mami, le viste los lentes a la Belén, en cabal sombra. Mami. De esos son cabal para ella. Carlos Enrique va a poder participar. Okay, I guess not. All right, so here we go. Um, so everybody understands what to do? Yes. Of course. Yeah? Are you sure? I sure. guess so. Yeah? Okay. All right, good. Um, so remember, the idea is to ask each other the questions and answer in the simple past. Okay, so answer either yes, I did, no, I didn't, and then give more information about it. Okay, so if you are asking, for example, um, did you um, did you eat any in, any new food? Um, yes, I did. I tried Indian food. Um, did you work last summer? Um, yes, I did. I had to work every day. Example. Okay, got it? Yes. Sounds good? Okay, all right, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Así sería. Eh, for example, did you eat any new food last summer? Y la respuesta sería... Yes, I did. Ah, yes, ok. Ajá. I didn't o no. Eh, si es negativo sería no, no, I didn't. No, I y didn't. Si es Ajá, 
Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y si es positivo, decir yes, yes, I, I did. Y comentar qué es lo que, lo que comió, pero usando el verbo en, en pasado simple. Uh -huh. Así sería. Entonces, una pregunta sería, no, I don't, o no, I no, no, I didn't. No, no I didn't Porque... eat. Ajá. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo era la pregunta? Please, uh -huh. repeat did, the question. Did, did you eat any new food last summer? No, I didn't, I didn't eat new food. New food. Okay. Uh -huh, sí. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you play did you play soccer last summer? Yes, I did. I played soccer in the stadium in Ciudad Arce City. Uh, with my friends and with my family, I I I visited um, to other friends. Anywhere interesting? Yo le puedo así con take any victory. ¿Sí? Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Take any pictures. Ajá, exacto. En no, lugar de que go anywhere interest, es que lo que pasa es que lo voy a explicar en español porque lo intentamos. Did you en la zona es la fórmula de la pregunta. Ajá. El principio, el final. ¿Cómo lo vas a complementar? Con cualquiera de las frases que ya están ahí. O sea, did you y le vas a agregar cualquiera de esas. Did you work last summer? Did you play any games? Did you read any books last summer? Did you see any movies last summer? Esa es la fórmula de la pregunta. Pero también hay que contestarlo. Y para poderla contestar, tienes que saber si estás hablando de un verbo regular o de un regular. ¿Por qué? Porque para contestar, vas a tener que complementarlo. O por ejemplo, by. Eh, white sería porque tendría que como que did you buy any, did you buy anything interesting last summer yes I did uh, y ahí tendría que complementarlo con no I didn't eh, si fuera negativo yo consideraría que no necesito un complemento pero si vas a decir que sí entonces, si sí, necesita el complemento de lo que te van a, a, a complementar. Entonces, sí es importante que, que sepas cuáles de esos verbos son regulares y cuáles son irregulares. El día de ayer la teacher nos compartió un listado de los verbos regulares. Entonces, fuera bueno que te lo estés aprendiendo, porque, por ejemplo, de ahí de los verbos que están ahí, go, eat, meet, son verbos irregulares. Read también es irregular. Sí, también es irregular. Take también es irregular. Y where también es irregular. Y have también es irregular. La mayoría de todos esos verbos que están ahí son irregulares. Pero creo que play, eh, ah, incluso boy, by es irregular. Este, play es un verbo regular. Exercise es el verbo regular. Y ahí todos los demás son verbos irregular. Entonces sí es importante que tengas a la mano, por ejemplo, el listado de los verbos irregulares para poder complementar esa frase. Por ejemplo, te voy a hacer yo las preguntas que yo había elegido. Does that make sense, Marvin? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. So it, so we understand how to to use the simple past? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can can I hear? Can I hear the conversation? Try 
And so maybe you can, what we can do is maybe you can ask Maximiliano a question and then he can answer. Okay. Okay. That's my mother. So you can ask them any other questions there. <clears throat> Marvin, do you see, see, yeah. do you see the, the table there? The, the picture that I sent in the group? In, in the group, I sent a, I sent a, a small picture in the group. Do you see it? No, I sent in the group, I sent the picture of the activity. Yes. Yes? Okay, so yeah. ask one of the questions. Ask Maximiliano one of the questions. Um, I I sleep. No, 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 no. Ask him mm. the question. But ve la la ve el 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 ejercicio que le acabo de poner en. Okay, so ask one of the questions. Ask Go anywhere. One any any question. Go anywhere interesting. So the, 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 the get, complete the, the uh, complete the, question the, mark. Uh, did you see any movies? But the complete question is La Zoom. 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 Como es? Yes. You say did you love zooming? But uh -huh. But from the beginning, for example, did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Did you eat any new foods last summer? Did you meet any interesting people last summer? Did you exercise or play any sports last summer? Did you work last summer? You see. So choose one of those questions. No, se me viene nada a la mente, teacher. No, o sea, lea, solamente lea la, una de las preguntas ahí para preguntarle a Maximiliano para que le responda. Play any game? No, pero va. Ok. Eh, ve que en la parte de arriba dice, Did you? Uh -huh. Entonces, después... did, you, did you go anywhere interesting? Last summer. Last summer. Ah, I see. Okay. Yes. Good. Again. Mm -hmm. I went to the beach and I went to um La Laguna Verde in Aponeca. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Maxine. Next question, Martin. Did you did you eat any new new food last summer? Mm hmm. Very good. No, I didn't. Okay. And you can Special. you can continue. Did, did you meet any interesting people last summer? Yes, I think I, I meet a very interesting people here on this platform. Did you exercise or play any sport last summer? Yes, um, I played uh, soccer last summer. 
and I think I played ping pong too. Did you work last summer? Yes, I worked last summer. I worked like five days a week. Okay, good. Now, Maximiliano, let's switch. You ask him the other part. You ask okay. Marvin the second half. Uh, okay, Marvin, did you play any games last summer? Mm. Yes, I did. Can you give more information, Marvin? Last summer. What what games did you play? So that's good. That's good. Yes, I did. What games did you play? Give me give me information about the games. Um last last weekend. Mm -hmm. What did you play last week? Mm. O sea, continúe con la oración para que dé, dé más información acerca del, de lo que está diciendo. Yes, I did. And then you give more information. No tengo más información. O sea, usted dijo, le, le, le preguntó, did you play any games? Mm -hmm. Last summer, you said, dijo, yes, I did. Entonces, ¿cuál es? De información de lo que se dice, sí, jugué. Entonces, ¿qué jugó? ¿Cuándo? ¿Con quién? Lo que usted quiera decir. Mm. ¿Qué más me puede contar acerca de eso? Yes, I did with my friend. I, mm. I, I played. I play. I play. I play. Uh huh. Every day. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's great. Uh huh. Okay. Next question, Maximiliano. Did you read any books last summer? Repeat, please. Did you read any books last summer? Mm. Oops. Did you read any books? books. What are books, Marvin? Nunca había oído esa palabra, Tichi. Books. Sí. Books. Very common. Books. Like you have to read books at school. Books. You read books at school. Libros. <laughs> Do you read any so, books? Any book last summer? Yes. 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 Yes, I did. Good. ¿Qué más me puede decir acerca de eso? Me dijo que sí, ahora cuénteme acerca de eso. Mm -hmm. Se dice que sí leyó libros, entonces uh -huh. cuénteme qué, qué, libro, qué libro leyó, cómo se llamaba, hace cuánto lo leyó, le gustó, no le gustó, bueno, lo que usted quiera decir del libro. Check, uh, check Shakespeare. Okay, 
Can you give a complete sentence? Shakespeare. Um, I. Um, La Ciguana Valeyen. Ok, pero, pero oración, una oración completa. La idea es de uh, practicar el pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces, me va a decir, yo leí y me va a decir, uh, entonces, give me in English. Right, How would you say yo leí, Marvin? Check. No, ¿cómo se dice yo leí in English? Uh, I am. I read. I read. Uh -huh. I read Shakespeare. Good, exactly, very good. Okay. Um, Marie, uh, el día de ayer estuve en la clase. Sí, yes. Sí, okay. Sí. ¿Repasó, ¿Repasó los verbos en el pasado? Sí, los repasé. Sí. Los estuve leyendo. Sí. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Continue, continue studying more, more, more. O sea, Es, es una, una lista bien larga de los verbos, así es que siempre se va a necesitar seguir leyendo y repasando. Sígalo repasando, 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 y así se le va a ir quedando más y más los verbos. Very good. Okay. So, I'll, um, we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, any questions? Any questions at all? No. So we understand how to use um, the the simple the simple past. It's okay. It's clear. It's clear or no? Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, in that exercise, the questions were already done for you. So you didn't have to create questions. But we have not learned how to create the questions. Right. So in ese, in ese exercise, ya la pregunta ya tenía, ya estaban hechas. ¿Ya? Lo único que tenía que hacer era, era hacerles, o, o me he dicho, preguntar, ¿verdad? So that, that's the only thing. But, so let's talk about right now how to make questions in the simple past, okay? Um, they're actually very, very easy. It's not complicated at all. So I need you to tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So the interrogative, these are questions. It, it, we're talking about the simple past, right? So let, let, actually, let me, let me write this first before anything. Let's make sure that you understand this is the simple past of interrogative. I don't want anybody to get confused. It's simple past interrogative. 
So it's actually very, very simple. No, not complicated at all. All you got to do to make questions in the simple passive, is there in the simple past, is we start with the auxiliary did. Because remember, it's a question. With questions in the simple present, we start with do. And what is the simple passive do? Did. Did, right? Okay, very good. So that is why instead of starting with do, we start with did. Okay? So we always start with did, independent of the subject. It doesn't matter if the subject is I, ah, you, he, she, it, we, they. It's always going to be Okay, so in this okay. case we used he. In this case we use, sorry. In this case he used we use he. In this one we use we. Okay. After that, we use the verb in the original form, the base form. We don't change anything. We don't put ed. You don't put um. D, you put, don't put ing, you don't put es, you don't put s, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay? Does that make sense? Is that yes. okay? Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, we finish with the verb. Um, so we finish with the um the complement if it's necessary okay so just to um make sure you understand it's we're going to start with did all the time it's going to be did. after did what do you add after did what goes after did the paint paint the, the subject. No. The subject. Subject. Yes. Mm -hmm. After the subject. There. The verb in. Complement. In regular form. Yeah, in the base form. In, in, the, base form. in the base form. Okay, so. La, la base. La, la base. Complement. So no change, no change at all. And if it's necessary, only if it's necessary, we're going to be doing complement. Okay. And of course, a question mark. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions about this? Any questions about no. this? No? Okay. Now, how do you answer? Short answer. If you're going to give a short answer, for example, did he paint the wall? You can say, yes, he painted the wall. Did he wake up very early? Yes, he woke up very early. But if you want to make a short answer, it's just going to be, you're going to be saying yes or no. No. And after no. that, we're going I to be adding. Must be. The so subject. First the subject. Okay. We're always going to mm -hmm. be subject. Okay. And after that, what do you think? What goes after this? Uh, With yes? Bear, no. Bear, no. Yes, subject. Yeah, auxiliary. Indeed. Sorry? The auxiliary. The auxiliary. The auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Well, did. did. Yes, did. I did. Exactly. Did. There you go. And here in the no, so no for subject plus, didn't. 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 didn't very good bravo there you go so that's going to be the answer all the time 
Okay. Love sign. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's this, this. These are the only possible answers. Yes, subject plus did or no subject plus didn't. Any questions? No. 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 You sure? Sure. No? Okay. All right, perfect. Um so bueno, aquí lo que voy a lo que le voy a quizás tener que pedir es que alguien tal vez le pueda tomar captura de imagen porque yo no le puedo tomar captura de imagen porque estoy en la aplicación de captura de imagen. No puedo tomarle captura de imagen a la captura de imagen. Entonces tal vez pueden tomarle captura de imagen y la mandan. Bueno. Done. Very go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Max. Okay, good. Let's stop. Let's stop sharing. All right. Any questions at this moment about that? No for me. Okay. So what we'll do in that case. Um, just a moment. Just a moment, guys. Okay. Um, please tell me if uh, or better said when you are able to see my screen. You see my screen? Yes. Yes, I see. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So this is a conversation. Did you like it? I want you to listen and repeat after me. So did you go anywhere last summer? So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My, My sister, sister and I went to Arizona. Arizona. It's not it's not Arizona because it's not in Spanish. We pronounce it Arizona. 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 Yes, Arizona. 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 Yes. Next we say, we saw the Grand Canyon. 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 Really? Did you like it? Really? Did you like it? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, loved it. oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, yes, we oh, loved, yes. It. loved it. Did you go hiking there? Did, Did you, you go hiking, hiking, hiking there? there? Did you go hiking there? Did you go hiking there? You go hiking hiking there? there? there. No, we didn't. No, we, no, didn't. we didn't. We didn't. We rode horses. Oh, sorry. Actually, we rode horses. Actually, actually, we rode horses. We rode horses. We rode horses. And we also went water rafting on the Colorado River. And we also went water River. Okay, so I think we're going to do this a little bit shorter. And, and we also went and, and we also went, 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 went white water rafting. 
On the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. Colorado. 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 Wow. Wow. You have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We had a great time. We had a great time. All right. Okay. Any questions at all? Okay. All right. So, um, we are going to practice this conversation with a partner. In fact, we're going to practice it with the same partner that we were we were working with a moment ago. And uh, I the 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 purpose of this activity is to practice pronunciation. So try to practice as much pronunciation as possible. So this is a yeah, so the idea here is to get um, right on the pronunciation, especially with words like, you know, that even though they are, they may be in Spanish, um, but do not pronounce them like you're saying in Spanish. For example, Arizona, you don't say Arizona, it would be Arizona. So try to say it more of an, with an English kind of accent, okay? That's what I want you guys to practice on right now. And I'm going to send you in the group. Okay. Do you have it now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going, perfect. So I'm going to return you guys to back to the main rooms. Sorry, to the... Um, I'm going to return you to the, your groups, okay? Um, okay, so here we go. I'm giving you about four minutes. Change, okay? So one time you will be Laura, the other time will, you will be Erica, okay? All right, so I'm opening the groups right now. a compartirla. Okay. Eh, ¿Logra verla? Sí. Bye. Bueno, ¿quién empieza entonces? Ok, lo vamos a hacer este, una vez cada uno, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Entonces voy a hacer Laura ahorita. Hola. Voy a hacer Laura ahorita, te digo. Vaya. <laughs> ok, con eso. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and... Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I... Went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. 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 Okay. Really? Canyon. Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. 
Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went with white water racing on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Bien. Comienza. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go did you go kinder? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Una Okay, okay come be in. careful. It's summer, not summer, but summer. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Summer. Okay, summer. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode a horse and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So now I begin. Okay. So did you go well, anywhere before, last summer? Wait, wait, before you continue. Uh, um okay. it's so we say hiking. 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 Yes. And it's river. 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 Okay, river. so keep keep going. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did my sister and I went to Arizona with up the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. I... Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't actually. We ride horses and we asked when ride water rifling on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, why did we have a green tie? So, you begin. river. Marvin, can river. you repeat? River. River. Mm -hmm. River. River. No, 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 yeah, white water rafting because it's mm -hmm. it's it's a complete it's it's a name the, the complete name is white water rafting and oh. um, yeah so white water rafting is um a sport yeah it's a sport um that is uh let's say um used or 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 practiced let's say in a river but a very fast paced river that is coming down a mountain. So if you notice the rivers that come down the mountain, they are very fast. And um, it even looks like from the, um, from the foam, it looks like the river is white. So oh. they go down like this, um, they go down the, the, the mountain in the river um very very fast and it and um you know um it, it's so fast that it looks white that's why it's called white river rafting okay 
Does that make sense? It's like I'm a, what is the word, extreme the sport, I guess. It's a sport, yeah. It's definitely yeah, a sport. No, it's, it's, in Spanish, it's more extremo, something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I would say, it's yeah, a, maybe it's, it's a little bit dangerous. Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, not so much, but it could um, be a little bit. It it depends on on how how many like if there are trained people. If there are trained mm. people, it's not um like if the person that is guiding you is a trained person. It's not really dangerous, okay. but um, it can be like. This because so, maybe an, an, an accident with a rock, for example, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, ah, why were we? Uh, uh, <laughs> so they're, going, they're going down the mountain. Do you see? They're going down the mountain, and but but they're but not all the time. Is it like like sometimes it could be very 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 um still like like here. Uh, that's not, uh, uh, yes 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 right so it, it, not all the time is it really dangerous it depends okay. sometimes like when when you're going really down the hill sorry down the mountain yes it's going to be like very fast but there are mm -hmm. moments where it's not so so steep we think, we think mm -hmm. that only one person on the boat Pensamos que era diferente que solo una persona iba en el bote como... Oh, como no, that's vehicle. kayaking. Ah, kayaking. That's kayaking. Yeah. No, this one is lots of people. You, usually there are, there, there are at least four people. Usually, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go back to the main room in a moment, okay? So I'll see okay. you in a moment in the main room. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Now, speaking of the questions, we have this min these four mini conversations uh, that we're going to be working with a partner. You are going to be completing with the the question form of the simple past. For example, did you have a good summer? And then you answer yes, I and then you're going to complete with the correct form. Also make sure that you have the correct form of the verb in parentheses. I, rent, I sent you this exercise in the group, so you already have it. Do you understand what to do? Yes. 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 Okay, great. So I'm gonna create new groups. I just wanna make sure that everybody will be participating. Edwin Antonio, will you be participating? Yes. 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 All right. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to open up the rooms right now. Hi, Carlos. Good 
Carlos, are you able to participate? Carlos? I think Carlos is... He's not at home. No, he's definitely not at home. <laughs> <laughs> if that was his home, I would be like, wow, he has a big home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredibly well. Yeah. Okay. So it seems that he won't be able to participate. So I'm going to send you with someone else to work. Sounds good? Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Sending you somewhere else. Y en WhatsApp no puede. Pero sí, siempre te dolía. Sí. Teacher, ¿me podría poner compartir la pantalla, porfa? Sorry. ¿Me podría compartir la, la pantalla? Lo que vamos a, a resolver. Compartirla. Ajá. ¿Cómo se compartir? No, ¿cómo podemos ver ahí para este, hacer los ejercicios? No pueden ver la no. en, el, en el WhatsApp. En el teléfono tenemos este conectado la Zoom. No, no entiendo exactamente qué es lo que necesitan. Compártanos el ejercicio, pues. El okay. que nos envió en el WhatsApp. But, lo que pasa es que voy a, o sea, tengo que estar yendo a otros grupos. No me puedo quedar aquí solamente. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, no, no pueden, pueden compartirlo desde su teléfono. Ahorita. Uh -huh. Donde dice share. Share. Ajá, donde dice share, ahí pueden compartir. Eh, luego le da la opción de lo que van a compartir ok ¿ve ahí la, las diferentes opciones? sí ok va, Pero no voy a hay... asegurarme que usted que sí estén compartiendo Voy a intentarlo. Uh -huh. <coughs> Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, no, no es así. No, tiene que seguir con las otras imágenes. No. No, 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 no. Está um, bien. Ni sé dónde me metí. Try it again. Ya yeah, bien. Sí. Ya no lo pude meter. So, this is share. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, and then select the image you are going to share. Uh, ¿Qué le sale? Me dice 
Microsoft on OneDrive, Microsoft SharePoint, Google Drive, Box, Photo, Document, uh -huh. web, web, Bookmark. Creo que podría ser Photo, porque le debería de haber llegado la foto a su teléfono. Sí, a WhatsApp ya me llegó, pero para compartirla sí no puede. Los, 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 um, los, las fotos que le lleguen a WhatsApp, le, le llegan a la galería. Sí, me llegan. Ok, entonces puede compartir de ahí, desde la galería. No se me actualiza, por eso no la puedo compartir. Sí, lo está compartiendo, ya, ya lo está compartiendo. Ah. Very good, yeah, ok. Voy a ir a los otros grupos. Ok. Vaya, entonces eso tenemos que resolver. Sí, tenemos que resolver esto. En la primera. Creo que sí. Um, we went a lot. La tres en la A, pienso yo, sería If you take it, take, poniendo la, la D. So, try, try to keep it in English, okay? So, I, the idea here is to practice as much English as possible. So, let's eliminate the, the Spanish as much as possible. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <clears throat> yes, I did. I la misma take take. Vamos a poner la de. And is listen. And I play it. 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 Did you play it? Yes, play it. Play. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Play. Voy a practicar la, la conversación. Mm, según lo que dice aquí el manual, sí. So, so I mean, did you go? Do you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just went back. Did you go no. anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed. Uh, here, but my friends visited and visited me. And on the weekends, we went out a lot.
Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to be checking the answers. Can you please tell me if you see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. So let's uh, you see. So did you have a good summer? Yes, I. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had a great. Yes, I did. Yeah, make it small, actually. Yes, I did. I had 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 I had a great summer. Great I summer. just relaxed. relaxed. I just relaxed. Relaxed. Good. There you go. Relax. All right. Next. Did you go? Did you go? Did you go? Excellent. Anywhere last summer? Did you go? Good. Remember, it's in the base form. So you're not going to say, did you went? You're going to say, did you go? Go. Did you go? Did you go? All right, next. No, no I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Good. No, I didn't. I? Stayed. I stayed. I just remember that we pronounce it stayed, not stayed, stayed but just stayed. 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 I stayed here. Stayed. By my friends. Visited me. Visited. visited me. Visited. Good. By my friends visited me. Okay. And on the weekends we went out. Went out. We went out a lot. Good. We went out a lot. Any questions? No. No. You sure? Sure. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. Good. Next. Number three. Did you, did you, did you take your new glasses? Yes. Like summer, summer. Hold on. Summer. Did you? Did hey, you take any, class any classes last, last summer? Good. Did you take <laughs> any classes last summer? Yes, yes I. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Took. I took. I took. 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 I took tennis lessons. Tennis lessons. And I played. Play. I played. Play. I played tennis, tennis every, day. Tennis every, every day. day. Every day. Good. All right. Next. Did you speak, did you speak English, English last summer? Speak English last summer. Did you speak, speak. speak English speak. last summer? Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No. I no, didn't. I didn't. didn't. Did. But, but I read. But I read. Good. But I read. But I read. Remember, remember, remember that, that this is the same as the, the same. spelling is the same as the original read, but because it's the past, you pronounce it red, like the color. The color. Yes. But I read yes. English books and I watched. I watched. And I watched English, English movies. English. Okay, there you go. Do you have any questions about this? No. No. Are you sure? Sure. No? You sure? No questions? Sure. Okay. All right. Sounds like you guys understand this. So in that case, let's talk about summer activities. Do you see the list here? Yes. So we have different activities. We have a class, fun, hiking, a movie, new people, old friends, a picnic, pictures, a play, swimming, tennis, 
and volleyball. Do we understand this vocabulary right here? Yes. 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 Are you sure you understand that vocabulary? Yes. Yeah, everybody? Okay, all right. So what we'll do is we're going to now categorize this um, with the different verbs. For example, go. We always go hiking and we go swimming. Why? Yes. Because hiking and swimming are activities that we do outside, outdoors. So we use the word go with activities that have to do with um, outside. Okay. So for example, we can also, I'll give you another example. We go running. We go running because we do the activity outside. We don't we don't normally run inside of if of of a house or the gym or anything. We do that outside, right? We do in the in a park, okay, or you know by the beach, you or a, or in a stadium. So you do it outside. So we always go and do activities outside uh, outside, okay. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is help me out to complete this. And I'll give you about one, like about two minutes to decide which verbs go with which activity. Okay. And then we're going to complete it together. Okay. So okay. about two minutes to do this. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's try, let's try this together. So, have, what would you do with have? A picnic, have a picnic. Good, have a picnic, yes. Good. What have fun. Fun. What? Have fun. Have, have fun. fun. Have fun, absolutely, <laughs> have fun. Good. Meet. New people, old new friends. people, and old new friends. Old friends. And old friends. Old friends. All right. So 
So far, so good. We understand this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's continue. Play. What do you do with play? Tennis, volleyball, play ball. volleyball. Okay. Very good. Tennis and volleyball. Tennis. And volleyball. Volleyball. And we also play volleyball. And volleyball. Okay. Normally we play sports that are like competitive. Okay. Competitive sports um, like uh, tennis, volleyball. These are competitive sports that we can usually play like in teams or like or in, in pairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? See a movie? Movie and uh, see a play. And see a play. We can see a picture. A movie and a picture. And? A play. A play. A play. What is a play? Like, um. No me digan que es un no, juego. Una obra no, de teatro. That's right. A play would be like Romeo and Juliet, right? Or, um, like, uh, for example, I don't know, cats uh, or Les Miserables. Yeah. Or uh, Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Okay. La Divina Comedia. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Very good. And finally, take? Take a picture. Picture. Take a picture. picture. Take a picture. Uh, take a class. Take a class. A class. Yeah. Take a picture and? Take a class. Take a class. Okay. All right. Any questions about that? No questions? No questions. No questions. No. All right. Okay. You seem to understand this quite well. All right. So basically, guys, we have officially finished there with um, unit 14. And we'll start now with unit 15, which is actually very similar um, to unit 14, because we're going to continue talking about the past. Um, but for this, we're going to start talking specifically about, um, about celebrities, OK? So please tell me if you can see. Uh, my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have here um, a few people. We have, excuse me, five people. We have, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Issei. Miyake, who is a designer. We have Shakira. Then we have Chow Young Fat, which is an actor. And we have Salma Hayek, an actress. And we have uh, Ronaldo, who's an athlete. So what I want you to do is try to figure out where were these people born? Okay, what was the country where they were born? Let's try to match it. Mm, it's Amy Yakin, I guess. No, and, um, so I'll give you a minute to think about it and then we'll check the answers together. Okay. Okay. Mexico and Brazil. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this. Let's see if we can figure out where these people were born. So, Issei Miyake, where do you think he was born? 
in Japan. Japan. In Japan. There are Japan. In Japan. Okay, good. He was born in Japan. But be careful, you do not say um it's not Japan. It's Japan. 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 Japan, Japan is it's not Japan. Japan, no, it's Japan. Japan. He's Japanese. Yeah. Good. Yes. Japan. Japan. Japanese. What about Shakira? Colombia. 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 Let her see. Colombia. Let her see. Colombia. You're absolutely right. Colombia. She was born in Colombia. All right. What about uh, Chow Young Fat? China is born in China. China. He was born in China. Uh, he is Chinese. He's, oh, sorry, China. China. Uh, he's Chinese. What a different Japan and Chinese? They're the same. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's like saying I don't know. That's like saying Mexicans and and Salvadorans. Uh, I I just say uh, say because uh they they eyes they eyes I guess they eyes. They're very <laughs> but if you, if you say that someone from China or someone from yeah. Japan, that is, very that is an insult for them. Yes. Today, that is an insult. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's just like, it's exactly the same. Like when they say, oh, all Latinos are the same. No, all Latinos are not the same. Right? Okay. We don't all, we don't so, all look the same. Difficult, the difference. Yeah. Yeah. There Actually, there is a very big difference between Japanese and Chinese. And even in their their appearance, there it's very different. Um, you just have to get familiarized. Um, like I went to school with, when I went to school, I was with like forty percent of Asian people, so I learned to distinguish Japanese, Chinese, Taiwanese, oh, yeah. uh, Vietnamese, uh, Thai, uh, Thais, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, so they're a little bit. They're they're actually very different, very different. Uh, yes, maybe. You see, they are very different. But when we, I guess, meet for the first time, <laughs> and the Asian people, we can difference. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree that it's um that the first time it's it may be difficult. Yeah, but um yeah, they they are very different. They are different. Okay, oh, Selma yeah. Hayek. Mexico. She was born in Mexico. She was born in Mexico. Was I was agree. Mexico. Mexico. Yes, she was born in Mexico. Okay, good. All right. And finally, Ronaldo. Brazil. Yeah, he was born in Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Brazil. Okay. So, which famous people were born in El Salvador? Uh, uh, Mexico Gonzalez. Mexico Gonzalez was born in El Salvador, yes. Who else? Any other famous people that were born in El Salvador? Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres. Atenchi. Atenchi, okay. La Yanira Berrío. <laughs> yes. Same Same <laughs> who is I don't I don't know I, I don't know Yanira Berrios. Yes, he's an influencer. Uh, <laughs> influencer? I don't know. Okay, she's famous for dancing. She's famous for dancing in the Libert. Uh, li in the park, liver. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. Yes. laughs> I don't. You are. You guys are ta talking about these celebrities. I don't Don, know. Don Leonel. <laughs> How do? 
what this name is the second security is the the dancing the song calle 13 don leonel oh i don't know uh, i don't know him no sabía eso he's very famous really yes yeah, okay Yes. Any others? Fernand Flo? Who? Fernand Flo. Yes, a friend is a YouTuber. Ah, uh, yes. Fernand Fernand Flo. Yes. He has more than otros países que aquí en el país. Yes. He has more than que otro YouTuber. 45 million subscribers. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Bye. Anybody else? Uh, La tía María, que hizo una película hace poco. I, don't, salió, creo. I don't know her. La tía okay. María, de la película salvadoreña, la, se llama Ilegales, creo. No, I don't know her. Sí, no creo. No creo. Ya hace poco salió esa película. Ok. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's very famous. Actually, um, <laughs> so I just found out I'm, I'm actually Googling it, and I just found out that. She was not born. She wasn't born in in El Salvador. She was born in in Oakland, California. But she is she her mother is from El Salvador. Do you know Chris? Christy Turlington? No. Christy Turlington. Yeah, let's go and la photo. She was a very famous model in the 1990s. Christy Turlington. Nunca he escuchado hablar de Christy Turlington. No. She, yeah, she's actually a supermodel. Uh, but uh, like, I think like, but from the 1990s. Um, Christy Turlington. I'll show you. I'll show you her who she is. Maybe you probably have seen her. Mm. Yeah, so very, very famous model from the I'll show you. Maybe, maybe you remember. Let's see. Oh. I'll show you the pictures. I already saw it. Huh? Uh, I'm already seeing it. You're seeing it. Ah, okay, okay. All right, you're ahead of me. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. You see it okay? Oops. Ah, my girlfriend. <laughs> Do you know Christy Chillington? She's no. so she's she's um she was very very she was a supermodel in the 1990s. I did. I did. I didn't even know she was. She she wasn't born in El Salvador, but she her mother is Salvadoran. Pero no nació aquí. Ella. No, no, she did, she was not born here. But who I do know was Salvadoran, and I think she, if I'm not mistaken, she was born here. Have you ever heard? Do you know the movie? Um, a brilliant. Um, when I uh, um. And a brilliant mind, no, I think an incredible mind. Una mente brillante? 
¿Ya han oído hablar acerca de la mente ampliante? Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's a movie, teacher. Yeah, it's a movie. So, you know, it's it, it's a movie. It's it's um based on a true story of this um mathematician. Um yeah, so um and his wife it, like in the the movie um it's it's the man is played by um como se llama este actor Help me I guess, out. I guess it's the, the actor of uh, Captain America. No. Russell Crowe. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so he's it's played um, by Russell Crowe. And his uh, wife, that is played by Jennifer Connelly, Connelly, Connelly uh, she plays his wife. And his his wife was originally like they died already, but he, his wife was Salvadoran. Uh -huh. Yeah. So also, yeah. So there's a lot of famous people. Did you do you know of any other famous people that were born in El Salvador? No. No. No other famous know. people born in El Salvador. Okay, now, why are we talking about where you're born? Um, because when you are talking about where you are born, we use the verb to be. So um, in Spanish, you say, yo, yo nací. But in English, you say, I was born. born. I was born. Okay. I was born, for example, I was born in San Salvador. Um, Erika, where were you born? Where Where were you born, Erika? I was born in Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. Okay, yes. good. Okay. And Roberto, where were you born? I was born in Suchitoto. In Suchitoto. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Nice, nice. And Oscar, where were you born? I was born from Zacate, from Sonate. Okay, very good. Zacate Colucas. Okay. All right. What about Edwin? Where were you born, Edwin? I was born in Nehapa. Nehapa. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. In Juan Carlos, when we're... Oh, no, Juan Carlos, you already told us, right? No. And I? No, you didn't tell us, right? Where were you born? I was born in Sonsonate. Okay, very good. Wow, de todos, de todos lados somos. Marvin? <laughs> Where were you born? Ciudad Arce. Ah, you were born. So t tell me, I was born in Ciudad Arce. I was born in Ciudad Arce. Okay. My mother was born in Ciudad Arce. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kevin, where were you born? I was born in Refugio, Aguachapan. Okay, very good, very good. Did I ask everybody? No. Me pregunté a todos. Me falta alguien. Ah, Maximiliano. Where were you born? I was born in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Yes. Wow, sí, so we... Aquí no hay ni uno solo que se repita. Can you imagine? Everybody was born yeah. in different places. That's really interesting. Uh -huh. Sí, por lo general siempre hay por lo menos uno que se repite. But very interesting. Yeah, we were all born. So something very important is that we, we keep that in mind. We say, I was born. You don't say, I born. I born, no. I was born. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry. Eh, can you repeat, Maximiano, where were you born? 
I was born in Santana. Santana. So I can say Maximiliano was born in Santana. Was born. Not Maximiliano born. No, it's Maximiliano was born in Santana. Okay? okay. Yeah? Do we understand? So we always mm -hmm. use the verb to be. Was or were. Okay, we use were if it's if it's for example with with you, you were born. Okay, uh, for example, um, uh, Marvin, they. you were born in Ciudad Arce. You were born. Okay, so the, we always have to use the verb to be. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let me take attendance, guys. So, um, okay. Tengan paciencia ahí para poder. Okay. Um, here we go. So, first one, Alicia Beatriz. Alicia Beatriz, ¿no está? Alicia Beatriz nunca se ha conectado, ¿verdad? Teacher. No. ¿Perdón? Teacher. ¿Sí? Where was you born? Who, ¿Me? Yes. I was born in San Salvador. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for asking. Very good. Okay. Um, Fatima Ro uh, Roxana Rivera. Okay. Uh, Jose Ramon Polanco. I hear. Good. Kevin Arnoldo Serna. Present. Okay, very good. Maximiliano Edgardo Escobar. Present. Excellent. Roberto Antonio Martinez. Roberto Antonio Martinez. Edwin Antonio Torres. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Ernesto, no, yes. Ernesto Antonio Espinosa. Ernesto Antonio Espinosa. Uh, José Alberto Orantes. Jose Alberto Orantes. Oh, oh, sorry, Juan Carlos Morán. Juan Carlos Morán. Juan Carlos Padilla. Present. Excellent. Eh, Catherine Ivonne Palacios. Catherine Ivonne Palacios. Roberto Barbin Lemo. Present. Okay, very good. Um, uh, Adriana Marcela Vasquez. Adriana Marcela Vasquez. Um, Brian Henry Rivas. Brian Henry Rivas. Carlos Enrique Mendoza. Carlos Enrique Mendoza. No estaba Carlos, pero sí estaba, ¿verdad? Sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Carlos Enrique. Mm. Mm. No sabemos, teacher, el que se retiraba, no, dijo que era sure. Alexander Araujo. Ah, que ah. se retiraba, dijo. A las cinco y cinco. Ok. Cinco y cuatro. Eh, Dani Elías Manzano. Daniel Díaz Manzano. Daniel Alfredo Hernández. Daniel Alfredo Hernández. Eh, Hamilton Arnal, Arnoldo Sigüenza. Um, perdón, ya me confundí dónde estoy. Sigüenza, Sigüenza, Sigüenza. 
Ah, ya estoy. Héctor Manuel Ramos. Héctor Manuel Ramos. Jacqueline Vanessa Fuentes. Jacqueline Vanessa Fuentes. José Alexander Araujo. Él es el que dijo que se iba a teacher a las cinco y cuatro. Ah, okay. ok, ya. Sí, sí, Josué David Cardona. Josué David Cardona. Kelvin Iván Martínez. Kelvin Iván Martínez. Marlon Alberto Piña Peñate. Marlon Alberto Peñate. Marlon Omar Menjibar. Marvin Omar Menjibar. Marvin Arnoldo Caballero. Present. Very good. Thank you. Eh, Oscar Alexander Vázquez. Oscar Alexander Vázquez. Oscar Armando Flores. Oscar Armando Flores. Eh, Oscar Mauricio Orellana. Present. Wonderful. Rocío Jasmine Tejada. Rocío Jasmine Tejada. Y Walter Antonio Mejía. Walter Antonio Mejía. Y Erika Yamilet Orellana. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Bye. Eh, Todavía no me han contestado, chicos, de um, cuándo vamos a tener la próxima clase. Um, sí lo he reportado, el, lo que ustedes me decían. Um, voy a volver a escribir el lunes temprano. Porque ahorita, um, ahorita de hecho, no, ya no hay nadie en la oficina y mañana es, es domingo. Eh, entonces voy a tener que esperar hasta el lunes para que me contesten. Um, y al solo tener una fecha, yo les pongo en el, el grupo. o más pro, Lo más probable es que oficialmente de, de, de administración de inglés corporativos les va a um, les va a estar avisando qué día se va, uh, se va a reponer esa clase porque obviamente no van a poder estar el lunes, ¿verdad? Que es el día que estaba originalmente programado. Um, así que no sé si tienen alguna in inquietud sobre eso. ¿Una pregunta? No. Ok. No, Bye. Entonces solamente um, se puede, si, si ya pueden... Pueden eh, terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, no hemos terminado la unidad 5, pero ya empezamos más o menos a tocar la, la sección 5, así que ya pueden empezar a hacer, a hacer eso, ¿ok? So, ya terminamos. ¿Perdón? Ya, ya la, yo ya la terminé. ¡Hey! Good for you, Erika. Bravo. Very good. Ok, excelente. Bueno, chicos, eso sería entonces todo y nos estamos viendo entonces mañana, eh, perdón, eh, la próxima semana, pero les confirmamos el día, ¿ok? okay. All right, guys, okay. So, okay. so, take care. Take care, bye-bye. Bye-bye.